Scientists were shocked by what Elon Musk found on Mars. Something strange is happening on Mars. Scientists are puzzled by what they found on Mars recently, and Elon Musk is leading the charge to find out what's going on. Musk looks into the theories about what's going on. Everyone, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll talk about some scary things that have been found on Mars. But before we start our video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon. Musk said that NASA's most recent discoveries on Mars should be especially interesting to him because they affect his goals right away. NASA has done a lot of research on Mars over the years because it's a very interesting planet. There are only two NASA rovers that are still working. These are Curiosity and Tenacity. This has helped us learn more about the planet, but as technology for NASA's five rovers has improved, it's become clear that there is still a lot to learn about the world. Now, NASA doesn't have the means to send a person to Mars. This is because it doesn't have all the answers to the problems that astronauts would face on the planet, such as high levels of radiation, problems with gravity, a long trip to get there, and many others. But rovers let NASA study Mars without putting people in danger and at a lower cost. Curiosity landed on Mars in 2012 as part of the Mars Scientific Laboratory MSL mission from NASA. Even though pictures may not show it, the rover is still the largest rover ever made. It's 10 feet long and 7 or 2 meters wide. Since 2012, Curiosity has been looking around on the surface of Mars. More than 27 miles have been traveled on their own. It doesn't move all the time, but over a distance of 4 kilometers, it can move up to 100 feet per hour. The rover can also take beautiful photos of itself. The main reason Curiosity is going to Mars is to find out if microorganisms have ever lived there. In this way, Curiosity has made a number of discoveries that are changing the way scientists think about the Red Planet. The air was thicker and rivers and seas were filled to the brim with water. Since water in liquid form is needed for life as we know it, scientists think that things like organic carbon may have kept life going on Mars. Even carbon, which is a chemical element, has life in it. As far as we know, when we go somewhere like Mars, we see a large amount of carbon. It could mean that something is alive. Carbon comes in different forms, but the number of neutrons might be different. Carbon atoms have an average of six protons. Carbon atoms with different numbers of neutrons are called isotopes of all kinds. Even though C14 is a radion clide, the first two are stable. There are three natural isotopes of carbon, C12, C3, and C13. C12 possesses six neutrons. C13, seven, C14 has four neutrons, but the most common form of carbon in living things is C12, which has 12 neutrons. Because C12 has one less neutron than C13, when it joins with other atoms to make molecules, it forms fewer bonds than C13 does in the same situation. But why do people even talk about carbon isotopes? This is because the discovery was made in the Gale Crater, which is on Mars and where Curiosity has been working. In 2012, they said that the slit in the crater was made by the physical and chemical weathering of volcanic rocks. Before sinking to the lake's bottom, the rover used a drill to take a small piece of rock from the crater and grind it up. The sample was then put in the chemical lab on board. Sam's lab, which is called Sample Analysis of Mars, is where he works on his ideas. To avoid contamination, pyrolysis is done in a flow of helium, which doesn't do anything. The gas is then looked at with a tunable laser spectrometer to find out what kinds of carbon isotopes are in methane. Six samples were used, and some of them had higher ratios of C12 to C13. If the same things were found on Earth, where C12 makes up 93% of the carbon and C13 makes up the other 1%, it would show that the high levels of C12 were caused by a biological process. Because of this, the finding was very interesting. On Earth, this is how things work. In the past, surface microorganisms used to give off methane as a byproduct. Methanogens are prokaryotes that come from the domain of archaea. Scientists have different ideas about how the Curiosity rover found what it did in the Gale Crater, though. One of them is the idea of molecular clouds. The hypothesis says that the solar system went through a molecular cloud many millions of years ago. Even though it doesn't happen often, there is evidence that it only happens once every 100 million years. Even though most molecular clouds are made up of molecules of hydrogen, the ones we're talking about could have had a higher concentration. Because of this, only the level of C12 would go up. Even though the molecular cloud theory is still not very likely, it's still worth looking into. UV light is used for the second reason. 
This theory says that over 95% carbon dioxide in Mars' atmosphere reacted with UV radiation to make new carbon-containing molecules. You'll surely be able to see the similarities between this process and the methodnic one. Musk would be involved in finding out where the carbon isotope found by Curiosity came from, no matter where it came from. He wants to build homes on Mars. Musk wants people to live on Mars for the rest of their lives, and he's hoping to make that happen, to send as many as one million people to Mars so they can start a new life there. Musk is in charge of building a two-stage rocket. The main goal of the new rocket ship is to settle Mars. This rocket has a lot of features that will help Musk reach his goal. Musk is pushing the SpaceX team to work around the clock to finish the Starship so that the first group of people can go to Mars by the middle of the decade. So that there's enough fuel to get the Starship back to Earth, it also uses fuel that could possibly be made on Mars. Which is his goal? He plans to use the satellite internet from Starlink SpaceX to make money for the project. But Mars is pretty harsh, so Musk will have to do something to terraform the planet if people are to live there. People have a hard time living on Mars because it doesn't have a protective atmosphere. But Musk has a plan that we all have to agree is crazy. In the fourth year of the SpaceX facility in Texas, a picture of Mars after it had been changed was shown. Just remember that things could be a lot worse. You could be living on Mars, surrounded by hostile aliens who are just waiting to attack our planet. So that's it for today. Was this video helpful? Share your views in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon for all the latest updates. Thanks for watching.